Today we are going to learn about quotations in SAP SD. The topics we are going to cover they are how to create a quote in SAP, how to change a quote, how to display a quote and how to search for a quote and all that. So we'll start with the business example. You are a member of the project team that is implementing the sales and distribution processes in SAP ERP. To get an overview of the several process steps from order to cash, you would first like to know about the sales quotation in SAP. Quotation. What is quotation? So in general terms, a quotation is a legal document to the customer for the delivery of goods or services. This is normally issued after an inquiry from the customer or it could be without an inquiry. So basically in general life we also see we want to purchase something, we can go to a, a shop or we can go to a company and we can ask, okay, give us a, a quote for this price. Even mainly between the business to business scenario you can see a lot of things for example if my company wants to purchase a raw material and then my company can ask probably two or three vendors that okay give me a quote so whatever quote I like then I will purchase it so that is a quotation so quotation is basically a part of the pre-sales activities so pre-sales activities basically includes your inquiry and a quotation uh, we'll talk about the inquiries later on and in this topic we'll all only cover the quotation part. So a quotation is basically a customer will call us or a potential customer will call, call us and they will ask us for a price uh, and they will ask for a quotation. So quotation is basically a written document given to the potential client and uh, then the potential client will decide whether they want to buy it or not. So quotation is also a legal binding document and every quotation has a expiry date so any quotation can be valid for maybe one week, can be valid for one month, can be valid for one day. So that's your quotation. So let me show you how you can create the quote in SAP. So in SAP menu you can go to the transaction code is VA21 I have written here VA21, VA22 to change, VA23 to display. If you want to see the menu path, go to logistics and then go to sales and distribution, sales, uh, quotation, VA21 to create. Now, VA21 and make sure you enter select here QT. You can see different options here and we'll learn about different options later on. But for now, just use QT here and use the sales area that I'm using, 1000 and 10 and 00. zero press enter here enter the sold to party as the one that we have I have created before so you need to use your sold to party that the customer ID that you created before so I created this one 301 623 press enter then material that I created before was this one say Dell laptop and quantity I, you can enter say for example 10 and press enter now one thing you need to check here is that <coughs> if I go to uh, edit and incompletion log it will tell me that what fields are mandatory and still not complete now before I do that uh, as in the master data topic I told you that all the master data that we maintain for the material and the customer that will be copied to the sales order uh, or the quotation if we do not maintain the all the mandatory fields in the master data then system will end up here in the incompletion log that means system will ask you to enter a lot of fields I'll show you one example so in this case if I go to uh, edit and go to incompletion log system is asking me uh, quotation value to date that I will enter later on but here you can see the gross weight net weight data so this gross weight and net weight data basically comes from the material master so because we did not enter in the material master before that is why system will ask me here so rather than for me to enter it every time we'll fix the material master so before I do that I will go to slash and mm02 transaction open the material master here and I will enter the 
required data for the weight. So here gross weight say enter say 1.2 kg net weight can be 1.2 for example and save it. And now I create the quotation again. So VA21 use the same type enter customer and here Dell laptop and order quantity 10. Now again if I go here in completion log that weight is error is gone but there are some other errors so they are basically coming from the plant if I enter the plant here what is the delivering plant we can also automate the delivering plant field but I will talk about the automation later on so if I scroll right somewhere here you can see the plant field or you can jump to this first screen the sales screen you can see is the item overview and that there is a sales screen so <clears throat> this screen is I, I feel this screen is better the the sales screen the same thing but it's just like the, the fields are shuffled so here if I go to the sales tab here on the top from item overview then here you can see the plant field enter the plant as thousand press enter So when you press enter, it's done. Now if I do the edit in completion log, let's see what happens. See, so most of the field errors are gone, but only one thing is that value to date for the quotation. So value to date is the mandatory field here. So we need to enter a valid from, you can enter the valid from as well, but doesn't really matter uh, which because it's not mandatory. If you do not enter valid from, that means it's valid from today. But valid to is a must date. So here I enter the valid to date. So something, any date in the future, for example, and I press enter. Done. Now if I do edit in completion log, check again. Is saying at the bottom message is message is saying I'm complete. So so the quotation is complete, and that is how we create the quotation. Now there's a different structure in the quotation and the sales order and all the sales document. I'll talk about the header view and the item view of the uh, of the of the sales document in the next video for the sales order. But in this video, I the thing I want to show you: select the line here, go to item, go to schedule line here. Here you can see that system will confirm a date. So it's saying that on 21st of October, I will, I will deliver 10 PCs. So it's checking the, checking in the system that when I, when can I deliver it, and it will give you a delivery date. So delivery date will depend on a lot of factors that we'll talk about later on. So for now, you can see the delivery date. So document is complete. Then I can save it. If I save it, it will generate a number for me. Right, so it's a, it's a number two twenty thousand two forty eight. If you want to open it, you can go to um, VA twenty two. Enter a number here, press enter, like this. And if you want to print it, okay. So we can. So depending, we have the output setting done, like we have learned before, for the quotation as well. Go to output header edit. Here, you can select AN zero zero. Press enter print out go back or I need to double click on this one first enter the printer for example whatever printer you enter go back and here go back once again so same way like we have learned before how you can email how you can fax how you can um, print same thing in the quotation as well you can click on the print preview to see the print preview output could not be issued Need to check why it's not showing, but extra output header edit looks good. I need to check why it's not showing the print preview. But for now, if I go to here, you can also see the print preview. Same message. Let me let let me save it. So I'll check why it's not showing print preview later on. So that's how you can save the quotation. So that's how that's the way you can create the quotation. Now within the quotation, if you want, you can enter more items. I entered only one item here. I can enter more items here if you want. 
right so now in this item you can see the price was called so if, if I select the line go to item and go to conditions here you can see the price is already there because remember I maintained the price in PR00 record that I've shown you previously so it's copying the price from there but for example you can have a new material and probably say it's a, it's a first time we're providing the quotation for this material and there's no price maintained for example if I enter a material like ABC123 and I need 20 pieces of this one press enter now if I again I go to the sales tab here and I enter the plant as thousand press enter now if I do a incompletion check again it's saying document complete but if I select the line and edit item condition for the second item it's copying the price but because the price must be maintained for this one so let me try a different material for which there's no price maintained if I just use the material ABC for example just say OK now if I do a incompletion log and let me check the price maybe the price is maintained for this one as well There's some price is maintained you can see here and I need to check where it's coming from but what I'm saying is if there's no price maintained then you need to enter here PR00 manually like we have done before but for now I will just create the quotation for the first material I can delete the second material select the line and click on this little delete button and I can save the quotation so that's how you can create the quotation Now how to search for a quotation, for example, uh, you need to search for a quotation for a specific material that okay I need, I need to see the, all the quotation for this material. That means the same material can be quoted to different customer or the other way around. I want to see the, uh, all the quotation for a specific customer. So for that we have the transaction VA25. So like VA 21, 22, 23 to create change in display. And there's another one called VA 25 somewhere here that you can use for um, this one, for the list, quotation list or quotation report. If I open VA 25, here for example, uh, I want to see for uh, my customer 30, let me open the customer. Or I can search the customer here as well. If I search customer was um, XYZ star so that was my customer so I want to see the, all the um, quotation for this customer and you can also enter the date range for by default it will show you one month date range in the future however you can change it you can go to say two months for example in the future and here it will show you open quotation that means open means uh, some quotation can be closed that means if the quotation is expired or if the quotation is, has been copied to the other documents they are closed open all means show me everything open and closed open means only open that means we still they are open still they have a value to date in the future and if I select my quotation that means all the quotations created by me that means myself that will, not everybody so if I uncheck that that means show me the quotation created by anyone so if I say open quotation for this customer press enter you will see the result here showing me that okay there is only one quotation created now it's it, that's a quotation number that's the um, they both quotation number however it's showing you two lines two lines why it's showing you because for that it's showing you the schedule lines let me check something first okay so if I open it again here's showing the schedule lines schedule lines means 
I will talk about the schedule lines in the next video. But if I open the quotation, if you can double click on the quotation here, it will jump to the quotation. And select the line, go to item, go to schedule line here. So here basically the first line is saying that on 18th of October, zero quantity confirmed. However, I will confirm. So 18th is the date that you enter here. So by default, if I go here in the first tab, so 18th, that is a date. That is a first by default it's showing me today's date but that is a date you can enter manually if you want uh, which is a customer expected delivery date. So it can be any date in the future for example after one week after one month but SAP will then confirm whether I can deliver on this date or not. Then one so by default it's today's date however when you um, when the system will process it will then check whether when I can deliver. It's, it's saying here that okay, I can't deliver on this date. The deliver confirmed quantity is zero. However, I can deliver on this date depending on the stock and everything we have. So that is why there are two lines. One is for zero line. One is for 20, 20, 10 pieces. So if I go back, go back again. I will not save it. So here you can see one for zero, one for ten. That's why you can see that you can see who created and all that. And as I said, you can double click on the document number it will jump to the quotation so that is how you can report it one more thing I can also report it via for this material number for example I want to see that okay give me the list of all the quotation for this material that means can be sent to any customer if a presenter again there is the same there is only one in the system that's why showing you one if I say something like for example ABC123 there is nothing so if I go back the past nothing ABC yes for ABC material if I check there are a couple of them you can see so I can go back so that's how you can search for the quotation using um, VA25 then there's a thing called document flow what document flow is so as soon as like in the next videos I will be showing you how you can create a standard order then delivery then billing and then accounting but every time system will be copying the information to the next one that means every document will be linked to each other that means this document was created from this document that document was created from this document and so on so like standard order 6839 was was created then delivery number this was created for that then transfer order this was created then goods issue this was created then finally invoice this was created and a document number this was generated so all of them belong to the same order but that's not like a workflow so in SAP it's called like a document flow and uh, document flow will be updated as soon as we create the next transactions but for now if you want to see the document flow for this one you can I can open the quotation in VA22 you can select the first icon on the top which is saying display document so at the moment at the moment there is nothing here there is only one document because we didn't create the next document so far that is why you can see only one here but in the next video I'll show you how to create the next and next and then the document flow will be updated then so that is your document flow So that's all about quotation. So just a recap. So today we learnt about how to create, change, display and search a quote and the document flow in the quotation. So for the assignment, I want you to create a quote using VA21 and use the customer and material you created before. Use the type QT for the quotation type and save your quote. Say use the same um, sales area, sales organization, distribution channel and division as as per the video the second is how can you search for a quote using the customer or material code only so try to search it search the quote using VA25 then open the quote in VA22 and change the terms of payment save your save your quote so if you want to change the terms of payment how can it uh, how can you change it so that's all about quotation and thank you very much